the game is totally changed right now. So if you are a beginner developer, you want to make a career change, I have some different news for you. I don't know if they are good or bad, but I have started to experience web dev industry and whatnot. And um, I'm making a few changes in my program and I want to let you know about the things that I'm changing so you can also either join the waitlist to be part of the program when it's gonna be ready. Uh, to do that, the link is in the description or to actually try to do it on your own. So I'm gonna tell you what the problem is and how to overcome it or how I think about overcoming it. So there is a huge saturation of beginner developers, right? There is like an absolute truth that pretty much everything gets automatized in some way or another, okay? A bunch of jobs are disappearing, a bunch of SaaS companies are appearing, a bunch of startups, no matter what like the, you know, financial situation is, we still need software, right? So even though we have this brain that's being like, oh, you know, we lose everything and whatnot, in reality, not gonna be like that, okay? We still need software, no matter what. And this software keeps getting built, okay? And because of that, a bunch of people like realize, hey, I cannot stay in my job and commute every day. I'm wasting money on gas. I'm wasting money on this car. I could be home. I could be, you know, having a different type of life. And more and more people want to either get into programming, sales, or marketing. These are the three main branches that you should be focusing on if you want to make money in the next few years, okay? Uh, okay, so I'm derailing a little bit. So what is the problem that I have noticed? The software development industry is now extremely mature, okay? So there are specific tools that everyone is using right now. There are specific ways of doing specific things, you know, and so on and so forth. And probably this is nothing new to you, but nobody wants to hire juniors, okay? The problem that I have encountered is that right now with the recent layoffs and everything everyone is more and more careful with who they are hiring okay they want someone that is already vetted by another company and they don't want to take a gamble with you pretty much they don't want to hire a false positive a false positive is someone that seems good in the interview but they are not able to deliver right so they don't want to take the chance with you okay because you might be that false positive it doesn't they, like people don't care how excited you are about programming they don't care about that stuff they care only if you can make them more money than they are paying you okay like let that sink in okay <laughs> bring the uh, the elon musk meme okay so how have i thought about solving this problem for my students so this is important for you if you want to join my program in the next few months when it's going to be open or if you want to do it by yourself, okay? Until now, all my students were working on a project with me, if that makes sense. So they were building their project, their crypto application, which now uh, is made redundant, okay? So whatever it was cool till now, the app that was bringing my students all the money, now it's being made redundant. And now instead of working just with me, they will be working in a team or maybe five to eight developers, okay? And although I'm teaching just front-end, now they have to learn by themselves DevOps, back-end and front-end, okay? Testing, TypeScript, AWS, like a bunch of things, Redis, a bunch of things that I personally don't really have experience with, but they will be put in an environment where they will be working like developers. There is no more like playing around, you know, with like Heroku URLs and Vercel URLs and all this bullshit. No, their entire applications will look like they are real startups. Okay. And the reasoning behind this is that if they create complex enough features, they don't even care about the application, right? Because you don't need to create an application anymore. You can just create parts of an application like you would do in the real world. But because of the way they will be working in like a team, they'll be able to expand on the things they've been doing in that project, okay? Because now they will be looking like mature developers, right? So one of them can set up like emailing from Node, another one can set up the deployment process with the CI and CD. If you don't know what that is, that's okay, but I'm just saying words at you. Uh, another one can make sure that they've been testing everything and set up the test coverage tools and whatnot. Another one is setting up something else. Another one is doing this. Another one is doing this feature, blah, blah, blah. So in this way, their resume is gonna be actually super, super powerful. 
Uh, besides that, I have a few other things that I'm not gonna disclose right now, but they will be even more sick and even more cool. But the idea behind this is that they will not say that they are junior developers or that they are aspiring developers. They will say that they work at company. However, I'm gonna decide to call that company where you know that company is gonna have some sort of domain, blah 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 dot com. And in this way, when a recruiter or a hiring manager looks at their resume, they'll be like, oh, they work at this company. They, they won't even check, you know, what the application is doing. They don't even care about that. I just need to make it legit enough for them, for like the recruiters and whatnot, to think that the company is legit. And then my students will have that experience and then they will be able to get the job, you know? So that's kind of the idea behind this. And how can you actually take this idea that I gave you with my plans for developer pro because i'm gonna make it like literally the best thing out there how can you take this idea well once you feel like you're ready once you know some react once you know some you know backend if you are in a community of developers okay so you need to find other developers that are as good as you they should be definitely really good then you can make a team or four people okay and then you can go on facebook in a facebook group uh, like SaaS founders or like type in SaaS and I'm sure you'll find some Facebook groups. Then you can try to find some SaaS founders on Twitter that are looking for technical co-founders or there is this web website called IndieHackers.com so like Indie Music but IndieHackers.com where there are a bunch of people that are looking for technical co-founders. So what you can do is you and a bunch of other friends of yours that are developers can build for someone an application and you can take like 50% off of that person's idea if the idea is like uh, working, right? But the whole point is for you to work on a real project rather than wasting your time creating cooker, cook, not cooker, cookie cutter applications like you've been doing so far. Because honestly, I, this is the new trend in 2023 and beyond. And what this trend is, is telling me is that the software development uh, industry is like maturing, okay? I'm seeing everything on LinkedIn, people crying. Even my students have like a very tough time right now because whatever used to work till now, it's not working anymore. There has to be a complete revamp. Am I scared about this? No, because I figured out a solution and it's gonna be easy to transition. I still have students that are getting hired, but I can see that there is a bigger barrier right now, okay, of entry. The barrier of entry is way, way higher. And the only way to break it is by working on a real world project and making like real complex projects. And this is the video for today. Uh, am I trying to scare you? Probably, yeah. You should be taking more and more action right now. We cannot f around anymore, okay? And what I'm trying to teach you is here is that you need to start thinking about how can I create a real world application today? rather than wasting my time making another weather app, another movie app, another bullshit app that you have been looking at, okay? Do not make applications that someone else has been doing. You have to be clever. And this is a complete 180 from what I've told you so far, okay? Because until now I was talking only about front-end and until now I was talking only about, you know, replicating websites that already exist. So that thing I believe is a thing of the past. And this is the reason why I closed the program for a month because I'm restructuring the entire program to fit in this new paradigm that we are currently living in, okay? So it's gonna take me probably one month and a half and until I get my first hires from this new idea that I have. And I am 100% sure it's gonna work. And if you apply it as well, it's gonna work for you. If you don't know how to apply it or if you need my help with applying it, you can join the waitlist and I'm gonna let you know when the program is ready. And that's it, pretty much. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Uh, until next time, yours truly, Christian. Bye bye.